Today on Pack for Travel, we're going to do a one year review of my custom fit Tour Iron Blades by Digger Golf. Stick around, you don't want to miss this. Rise and shine, it's someone's birthday today. Someone just turned one. Hey there, sleepyhead. Hey, wake up, sleepyhead. It's someone's big day. Wake up, brush your teeth, meet me in the kitchen. Daddy's got a big surprise for you. Okay, love you. There's my birthday boy. All right, here's your breakfast. Made you your favorite. After you're done, I'll give you your surprise. Okay, here's your surprise. Your favorite cake for your first birthday. Yay! Let's see if Max will help us with it. Okay. There you go. Happy birthday. Right next. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Max. Oh. Hey. Happy birthday. Blow out your candle. Make a wish. Okay. We're going to get down now. Okay. I'm cut. Don't, don't. Oh, gosh. Hey guys, welcome back. Kevin Pack Paco with Pack for Travel, and today we're going to do the one year review of my Giga Golf Blades. We're going to talk about the specifics of the club, the performance I had over this year, this past year. We're going to talk about the maintenance. We're going to talk about the value of the clubs compared to other clubs uh, that are similar. We're going to talk about dislikes, and then finally, I'm going to do a what's in the bag. Just show you guys everything that I have. So let's get started. Okay, so the specs on these clubs. There's basically three different clubs that I have in the bag. Um, so let's start off with the wedges. They're, uh, they're called the S510 wedges. Uh, I have the 60 and 56 and 52. And then my pitching wedge through my seven iron is in the M510, which is the muscle backed version. And my six iron, five iron and four iron are in the C510, which are the cavity backed version. So these guys have the Golf Pride V2 mid-size grips on them, uh, the True Temper 110 gram feather light shaft, and these all my clubs are a quarter inch short and two degrees flat. And we'll talk about the lie angle in a little bit about in maintenance. For the loft angles on all of them, I'm gonna go ahead and post it over here on the left hand side. But just really quickly, my four iron is 24 degrees aloft, five iron is 28. 6 iron is 32 degrees, 7 iron 36 degrees, 8 iron 40 degrees, 9 iron 44 degrees, and my pitching wedge is 48 degrees. And then in the S510 models of the wedges I have a 52 degree gap wedge which is 4 degrees, still maintaining that still still maintaining that 4 degree gap. Then I have my 56 degree sand wedge and then my 60 degree lob wedge. So I have 4 degree gap from 60 degree all the way to my four iron, which is awesome. I get a really good distance control with having exactly four degrees of gap. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up, because a lot of you guys have been asking about, well, what are these clubs similar to? And I found out that I was doing a lot of research and I found that the TaylorMade P730s are probably the closest I can find to these types of irons. Uh, the lofts are quite similar. Okay, so the TaylorMade P730s, uh, the four iron is, I'll post it up again here on the left hand side here, so you can see uh, the loft in the four iron is 24 degrees, the loft in the five iron 27, six irons 31, seven irons 35, eight irons 39, and nine iron is 43, and the pitching wedge is 47. So it's one degree difference from mine. So these are actually all traditional lofts, they're less strong than all the newer ones that they have out right now. Um, but I still get 
massive distance with these compared to my old uh, Callaway uh, Razor X's that I had that I used to play with. Um, so the specs are pretty close to that. Okay, so let's talk about performance. Uh, this last year I put about 60 rounds through these. On January 25th, 2018, I started at a 16.3 handicap. And as of January 24th, 2019, I went down to a 13 handicap. And if you can see here by the graph, I kind of dropped down. I dropped down a lot, but I kind of went up and down. But I actually, by switching from cast cavity backed irons to blades, basically, uh, player's irons, I've decreased my handicap, which is really good. Um, so the performance aspect of them, I really like the look of them. I mean, I just, I love the look of the seven iron. I mean, that's really the one that kind of got me going is like just, you know, looking at it from the top down, it's a beautiful club. The top line is so small and I just, I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of confidence with it. And I've seen a lot of videos of players talk about like, you know, you have to have confidence in your clubs when you hit them and really looking at them, you know, you feel like you can actually, you know, hit them and you're confident in it. And I guess looks really do play a part in it because I just, I don't know, there's something about these forged clubs that just by looking at them, I mean, they're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I just feel like I can hit any shot I want, which I can. So I can move the ball too. Um, I talk about a lot about draws and fades. Um, depending on how I set up, uh, I can draw the ball, fade the ball, and the ball does anything that I want it to do. High, low shots. And the best thing about these clubs uh, they might not be for everyone, but, um, you know, definitely since it's a lot smaller than any normal, any normal, uh, just cavity backed irons that are out there, um, the feedback on them, if I miss hit them, uh, I'll know exactly what happened. I'll know so I can make some adjustments. Um, and, uh, it's actually increased my distances. A lot of my distances from my old set, um, uh, have gone up now that I've gone to the higher lofted uh, irons, which is kind of weird. It's kind of counteractive, but at the same time, I think it's because I'm striking the ball better. It's forcing me to strike the ball better, which is in turn increasing my distance. Uh, the top line view is really, really sharp. Like I said, um, you can take a look here. I'm going to compare it to my Razor X's. Um, but man, they're just, they're beautiful clubs. You know, I just, I can't stop looking at them. I always love looking in my bag and seeing them. And maybe there's something to be said about the reflection. You know, you can see your reflection in here. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, these also take really awesome divots. So I, t I take perfect divots every time because they're just really sharp and they're perfect for cutting grass. So that's what you really want in an iron, something that performs well. Um, something that you can do repeatable shots of and you have confidence in. So these definitely check that box for me. So let's talk a little bit about maintenance for these clubs. So um, these clubs are they're still actually quite beautiful. Um, I didn't have to really do anything to them maintenance wise. So a few things that you should look out for uh, every year roughly for the clubs is you want to check your grips on them. They say to regrip it every year. The grips are actually still quite tacky. There's not very many rips or anything like that in them. You know, they're still very nice. They still feel very nice. Um, nothing's wrong with the shafts. I don't have any weird bending or anything with the shafts. The ferrules are good. The little plastic ferrules are fine. Um, another thing uh, you want to check for is the sharpness of the grooves. All my grooves are still intact, even on my wedges. Um, there's still, you know, a little bit of scuffing and scratching, but that's because of all the, you know, all the strikes of the balls and hitting and interaction with the turf. But for the most part, um, the grooves are still quite sharp. Lastly, you should check the lie angles of your clubs every year because they tend to, I always keep these in my car. So when it gets hot here in the summer, and sometimes they'll tend to get out of bend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it on the lie board and uh, put some, put a piece of tape and you know take a hit. We'll see how that works. So let's do that right now. All right, so I have my seven iron here. We're gonna do the lie board test to see how 
um, the if I'm I'm still maintaining my two degrees flat of uh, <clears throat> of loft. Just put this there. Bottom of the club. This isn't by no means scientific at all. This is just what I see them do at the the shop and looks kind of cool. <laughs> so let's see if this even works. Okay, so it's nice and smooth, nice and clean. Let's see where I impact. A little in the heel. That was literally my first swing of the day, so I don't think it's that bad. Either here, as long as it bottoms out around here, I think we're good, right? Right in the middle of the club. Let me do another one. Oh yeah, look at that one. Right in the back there. So, it's pretty much in the middle. So you're pretty much in the middle. If it's like out here or if it's in here, it's really not good, but right around here, that's probably the sweet spot here. Right around the sweet spot of the face, right here. So, let's do one more. Let's try it and see. How's it going? Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good, so lie angle, still good. All right, so that was our third one. Actually, looking at it now, it looks like it's a little bit in the heel. I'm gonna try one more and uh, and Z, but it's pretty much here. Actually, if you look at all the all my clubs, they're pretty much in the middle. Um, they're not really to the the back here. Plus, I was thinking about it. This is a little bit like higher, and my shoes. I'm not really wearing shoes. I'm wearing like slippers, uh, like house shoes. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference, but let me try one more time. Yeah, I'm still contacting right here, so. Right here, face is right here. So right around here, I guess uh, that's pretty much, you know, even offset just a little bit more. I think it has a little bit to do with the height difference, but I don't know, I could be wrong. But as long as it's not completely out here or it's completely out here, I think we're safe if we're within these these things here, and we are. So, looks pretty good. I don't have to deal with it because if I do have to bend them, it's like two dollars a thing, and they're actually gonna, you know, bend the clubs. So, we'll see. Looks pretty good though. Let's talk about value of these clubs. So these are custom fit clubs that I have customized myself to have the same the grip that I want the shaft that I want in the flex that I want with the proper uh, lie angle and the proper shaft lengths for me. Similar ones like the TaylorMade P730s are I believe $12.99 still and they're a year old. You know, and that's not even, I don't even think that's adjusting doing the grips and doing the shafts, you know, the way you like it. And I believe it's like a pitching wedge to the four iron. And I have 60 degree all the way to three iron, which is 11 clubs. And you can go on to Good Golf right now, put in your custom fit clubs, buy these exact same ones for $589 shipped. So you can't really beat the value there. And that's where I think these clubs really stand out above all the others because um, you can actually get the full set, including your wedges, for less than $600 shipped to your house. And they perform just like any other player's irons, tour irons would. So I think that's really the biggest biggest uh, point I want to drive home is that you don't have to spend a lot of money to you don't have to spend a lot of money on equipment and actually with these ones since they're so traditional there is no technology in them I'm not paying for technology I'm not paying for brand name I'm paying for golf clubs that are meant to be played by a player by someone who is going to improve their game and wants to take full control of their game so I think that's where the best value is for these clubs Right, let's talk about dislikes. What do I? What is not good about these clubs? Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Um, nothing. <laughs> I have no complaints for these clubs. Um, 
they hold up they, they're, they're holding up beautifully I don't have any problem with wiggling or warping or twisting or uh, anything the grooves are fine I can they're still shiny really really shiny which I love which is really why the reason I got them that's like the biggest draw that I saw when I was looking at these things um, the hosel is great the grooves are great um, the, I mean no, no complaints they hold up like any other club would you know uh, they act just like any other ones the performance is there for me um, one thing the biggest thing that I don't like about the whole package actually isn't even involved in the clubs here on the bag the bag is awesome by the way I have a lot there's a lot of pockets and stuff like that but look at this right here on my strap the strap is like completely like I mean like the foam is coming out of it that's not good um, and this is the right hand the, the right shoulder strap so whenever I get out of my car I just you know sling it over my back um, but other than that which really has no nothing to do with the actual clubs itself uh, I don't have anything maybe um, for the wedges, they only uh, give you certain wedges, so you don't have a like a choice of bounce. So if they, I wanted my 56 degree to have higher bounce or lower bounce or vice versa with lob wedges and stuff, they don't really have any options for that. Actually, I wish they had like cart bags too. I don't really like the, the legs because every time it's kind of a pain in the butt. And every time I put the bag inside the golf cart, I have to like turn it sideways because the foot right here is like not the right length. A lot of just the dislikes are not even with the irons, it's with the bag, which is terrible. So, I mean, I can't really complain. I can't think of any dislikes that I have for these clubs. So, uh, you, you let me know. It's comment down below if you see, if you could maybe, if you have a question about something that you might think is a dislike or is a disadvantage, but I can't think of any right now. Okay, so last part of the video I wanted to do is a what's in the bag. So you guys know about the irons, I won't even talk about the irons. Uh, so my putter that I have is a, uh, is a ghost putter from TaylorMade. It's a uh, Monte Carlo Ghost Tour Black Putter. I have a mid-slim uh, 2.0 Super Stroke uh, grip on it. I got this putter from Dick Sporting Good on sale for like 100 bucks. And um, I don't know how you guys select your putters. I, I mean, I'm all about the science and everything like that, but I just look one, you know, you get some one that looks pretty cool that, you, you know, it feels nice in your hand and uh, you just putt balls. And I remember getting this putter and I was just putting balls and dicks and I seriously made like three or four out of five. And the last ball, I went like the furthest away I could. And I said, you know what? If I sink this putt, I'm going to buy this putter. Well, I bought the putter, so you know what happens. All right, so that's the putter. Um, now let's get into my woods. I have a five wood, a three wood, and a driver. Um, they're all the same company. They're actually all Cobras, Cobra Kings. So the five wood is actually a F6 baffler, Cobra. Uh, uh, it's set to 19 degrees of loft with a what kind of shaft is this it is a 65 gram mfs series matrix flight system i believe these are the it just came from the factory like this uh stiff flex mid launch q4 i don't know what that means but it's a stiff flex 65 gram shaft uh came right from the factory like this uh, I smoked this thing like 230. This is like one of my favorite clubs in my bag. So four or five wood, adjustable loft, mine set to 19 degrees. Awesome club, Cobra. And this one is the, so for the three wood and my driver, they're both F8, last year's model F8, just a regular F8, not the F8 plus. Um, so this one is the three, four wood. Uh, it's set to 13 degrees aloft. I have it in the Nardo gray, and I absolutely love this three wood. It's awesome. These, are my driver and my three wood, are both in the 10C CK50 series uh, stiff flex, and I can just 
pound these. I mean, the I got a, I did a fitting. So if you guys haven't done fittings for your uh, any of your clubs, really, uh, especially your drivers and your um, and your woods and stuff like that, and your hybrids, uh, definitely do so. They actually make a big difference on controllability and distance. Um, and when I went to go get fitted, I was actually quite surprised on how much they made a difference. I didn't think it made any difference. So, you know, a, a shaft is a shaft, but that's really not the case. So this is awesome, three wood. And then finally, I have my driver, the F8. So you notice that I have the, the little doggy here. So the reason I have this guy on here is because Bryson DeChambeau signed my F8 uh, driver cover. Um, and it was actually supposed to be for Ricky and Ricky didn't, he wasn't here for the Shriner, or he wasn't at the Shriners, I went to go see him, and I wanted him, to, I so I, I wanted Ricky to sign it, but he was off doing something else with interviews, and Bryson was just like out there and doing all that stuff, and he ended up winning the tournament, so thanks a lot, Bryson, I really appreciate it. So, F8, F8 driver, I have the 12 gram in the back, for a neutral setting, high neutral setting, and my loft is uh, at 10 and a half degrees, also in the 10C 50 gram CK series stiff flex um, shaft. And uh, it's also in the Nardo gray, which is beautiful, and I absolutely love this driver. The milled face on it's really cool. I can see where I hit the ball, um, and it's really nice. I really pound this driver pretty far. Uh, what else we got? So I also have my Golf Buddy LR7 Slope. Um, I know it's not tournament legal, but I, I don't play tournaments. I play against my buddies for money. So you better believe I'm gonna use as much advantage as I can. And this thing's pretty affordable too. So really good buy uh, compared to all the other ones. This was like, you know, pr pretty much on the cheaper side, the cheapest one for uh, Slope and it works awesome. So definitely recommend that. And I also play my golf ball of choice is the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X. Um, I use the TP5 if I want to really hold greens and like it's got a lot of backspin, especially with those wedges that I have. If I if I hit down on them really good and I take a nice divot, um, man, I get just great spin from them. And also the TP5X is their low, lower spin. So if I need to reach a par five and two or just want to get a little more distance out of them, I can. I just I can just switch to do that, um, and that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole bag. Oh, really quickly too, the last part of this is uh, these three clubs that I got from Cobra. There was a reason I got I bought Cobra. I just didn't arbitrarily buy these because I thought they were cool. I had a buddy at work that buys all of his stuff from Cobra and he gave me a, a discount code last year and uh, these were even before the F8 series came out and so the pre-orders anything on the website, Cobra's website, so I bought the 5 wood, the 3 wood and this to replace my other stuff um, and I believe I paid for all this stuff, you know this alone would have been $400 and this was probably like $299 or $399, this is probably about $150 for the 5 wood. I paid $438 for all three of these. So. I mean, I got a great, I got a great deal. It's not, not everyone can get something like that, but um, I guess it goes to show that it doesn't really matter, which um, as long as it fits you and it works for you, then I guess that's what this video is all about, right? I mean, gig of golf and, and these and stuff like that. So anyway, you don't have to spend a lot of money to be good at golf. Remember that. Big shout out to Miguel A. Uh, he wanted me to do a what's in the back, so thanks Miguel, this one's for you, man. And uh, Nick B, you're always wanting to watch my videos and I really appreciate it. You guys, those comments really make me want to do more of these videos. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I could bring you a lot more videos like this. Uh, the goals for 2019, still the same. I still haven't broken 80. My closest is 81. So I'm really working on that. Um, we have a big RBR trip coming up in April. We're going to go do the um, I'll be already in Carlsbad, California, where they play the LPGA Tour. Uh, so we're going to see if I can make a video for that. That's going to be really fun. Um, and uh, one last thing before we go, guys. 100 subs. I'm, that's my goal is 100 subs. Once I get to 100 subs, I want to do a free giveaway of some golf balls. Uh, I'm not sure which ones yet. I have a whole, a whole bunch, but I'll let you know in upcoming videos. 
But uh, once we get to there, I'm going to start giving away free balls. So it's fun and beneficial for you to always watch this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you in the next one. What? Oh, oh, oh. He's one. One years old. One years old. Well, not him. These guys. These are one. One. Party. All right. Let's go. Out. Out.